Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks for joining us today. We're running through software update 2022.44.25.3. We're going to go through the release notes as well as the features of the free enhanced autopilot trial for Tesla Model 3. Let's go check them out right now. Okay, let's take a look at the release notes for 2022.44.25.3, the holiday update. Apple Music. So now you've got Apple Music. So if we press this icon here, then if you've got a subscription to Apple Music, then you can uh, use it on the Tesla now. And you can select from all the audio inputs from there as well now. Next one is dog mode. Um, you can look at the interior of the car from uh, your app now. So let's go check that out right now. Okay, so to get this working, you've got to go to dog mode. So uh, put the uh, climate controls up and put it on dog mode right there. And then we'll step outside the vehicle and check out the internal camera. Okay, so we're outside the vehicle now. So there it is. Joy's inside the car. Let's see whether we can see her on this uh, internal camera. That's me there. Let's press the internal camera. There is Joy. Hopefully you can see that. Yep, that's Joy waving. Okay, so the next thing is schedule light show. So now you can uh, schedule the light show for up to 10 minutes in advance. So go to application launcher and toy box. Let's do that. And let's go to light show. So now you can schedule a show like that. So got two uh, songs built in there, All Einstein and Carol of the Bells. You can also upload your own songs as well. And volume is there, you can now schedule uh, when you want it to come on. And uh, dance moves, you can click on and off, which moves the charge port mirrors and windows. Okay, next thing is climate control fan speed. So now you can uh, adjust whether you want your auto climate to be low, medium or high. So let's have a look at that. There you go, low, medium or high. Let's put it to low because we're recording this video. Automatic indicator mode. So uh, as soon as you finish your lane change, fork or merge, the uh, indicators will turn off automatically. So let's have a look at that. Controls, lights, automatic indicator mode. We've got it on auto cancel. We'll test that out later on. Mahjong in the games. Confirm phone call transfer. The car will ask you whether you actually want to transfer the phone call from your phone to your car. Improvements to the contacts, as well as uh, recent calls and favorites, as well as the calendar, as you can see here. And media controls are now on this side here. So it used to be along all the bottom there, but now it's on the right, all compact and compressed there. And you can now switch like that. So you can see the current drive since the last charge and the odometer. And also the tire pressure is easily accessible as well on this as well. So that's very handy. And emissions testing mode via the mobile app. So there's my phone there. I put the uh, fart icon there press it now yay bit of fun there and finally for this update we've got always rainbow so if you want uh, autopilot to always have the rainbow uh, road here on the screen then you can go to application launcher toy box rainbow road and put always on so we'll test that out as well and I've noticed too now that uh, with the new UI the uh, location is now in the bottom left corner where you are as opposed to being here previously. Okay, so the next part of the video is uh, the free enhanced autopilot trial that users that don't have that purchased or the FSD package purchased have got a 30 day trial to try navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, auto park, summon and smart summon. So to enable some of these features, you have to go to controls, autopilot and enable auto steer beta, enable navigate on autopilot beta customize that in one second make sure you enable summon as well and you can customize that as well so let's customize navigate on autopilot enable at the start of every trip I would say yes if you want to trial these for the next 30 days speed based lane changes you've got it on disabled mild average or Mad Max this basically uh, tells the car how fast you want to get to your destination if I put it on mild for example there needs to be a big difference between how fast you're going versus how fast the lane is before the car will take the lane change if you've got it on Mad Max, then that difference can be smaller before the car moves over and average is somewhere in between. Exit passing lane. If you have moved over to the faster lane, whether the car moves back to uh, the slower lane. Next setting is require lane change confirmation. By default, it's yes. Uh, the car requires you to confirm the lane change uh, with a flick of the indicator. No means uh, the car will move for you. And if you've got no, then you want to disable, then you've got to confirm that. And then with lane change notification, uh, you can have it on off, chime, vibrate, or both. So when the car wants to move, it'll chime. If you set it to that, it'll vibrate. 
if you set it to that or it'll do both if you uh, set it to both of course and of course you can have it on off as well like that then yep I'll put it back to uh, yes requires lane change confirmation for safety okay let's have a look at customized summon so there's two types of summon the standard summon and also uh, smart summon so summon is basically in a straight line forward and back smart summon is uh, the ability to take turns around a car park for example which we'll test out in a moment so let's have it on customized summon let's have a look so you can adjust things like bumper clearance summon distance uh, side clearance whether you want it tight or standard how close the walls are allowed to be uh, require continuous press i would say yes to make it safer so you've got to press the app which i'll show you in a second and if you've got home link which is the garage opener then you can uh, make it so that the home link garage door opens at the same time as well so bumper clearance you can uh, set it further away if you want uh, to be a bit safer like that for example up to 120 centimeters and the tightest it can be to the front of your obstacle is uh, 20 centimeters and summon distance uh, it can reduce it all the way back down to three meters or if you're feeling adventurous then 12 meters is the maximum for uh, the standard summon and the final two features are auto lane change which we'll demonstrate a bit in a second and also auto park which we'll demonstrate as well for you okay so as you can see we've got our red model 3 in the distance there i've got joy here holding the phone and we're going to demonstrate smart summon so as you can see on the app there the red triangle is where the car is currently over there and that's probably about a distance of say 15 meters probably thereabouts and then the blue dot is where we want the car to come to us so uh, Joy has to press come to me and we'll see what happens. So hang on to that button, Joy. Thank you. Okay. Yep. So the car is now starting to move back. Let's see where it ends up. Hopefully it doesn't run us over. Yep, I think the car's happy. Lights are flushed. I think if you're going to try this out, try it in a big car park like this, then... So Joy was just saying that every time the car reversed and changed from forward to back, the phone would vibrate as well. So that's a nice additional cue for Smart Summon. Okay, now we're going to try Basic Summon. So the car's over here. And on the app, we've got forward and reverse buttons. So we'll get Joy to hang on to the forward button there. So you've got to hang on to the button. It'll slowly, slowly, slowly move towards you. And when Joy is satisfied, she'll let go. Yeah, that's... I, I, don't, I stopped that, but I, I mean, I don't know if I just continued holding it, whether it would... It's like 20 over. centimeters to my feet. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah, that's, going 20 centimeters. That's for about 60 centimeters. So <laughs> I would be the same as Joy. I wouldn't move too much further. So that was fairly responsive, like probably half a second before it stopped. Okay, so now we're going to reverse. So Joy's going to press the reverse button for us. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to be standing here. Hopefully it doesn't run me over. It's getting closer. Okay, I think Joy let go of the button. That was her. Phew. Okay, thank you for not running me over. So there we go, that's reverse summon. Okay, so you might ask, what is the use of the smart summon and summon feature? Smart summon potentially, if you've got shopping in a car park and it's raining, you could potentially summon it close to you instead of you getting wet, but I would be very careful with other cars around, of course. And with just basic summon, forward and reverse, if you potentially have a tight space, like a small garage, then that's where it could come in very handy, I suppose. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you the auto park function. And if you've got spots like that lined up, then you'll see on the screen a P button there. So, all right, let's see what happens when we press P. So let's do that right now. Okay, so shift into reverse. So shift into reverse. Okay, and then the cameras come on. Auto park ready. Let's press start. Okay, my hands are off. Okay, watch the wheel turning as well. pretty cool let's see how good this job is okay. Okay. and 
hands free. Don't hit that curb, whatever you do. Okay, ding dong means it's good. All right, let's go check it out outside to see. It did a good job, so I'm still recording here. No cuts. Okay, so there we go. I'll let you guys decide how good you think the job was. Definitely within the lines. Within the lines as well on this side, so that's pretty good. Let's see how good it is at the back here. Yep, that's a very good job. I'm gonna give that 10 out of 10. And yeah, good job there, Auto Park. All right, so we're just about to hit the uh, road to demonstrate the uh, lane change function. But uh, before we do that, I just want to talk about Navigate on Autopilot once again. Uh, there are only certain roads that Navigate on Autopilot will work on, usually on major arterials, uh, especially freeways and highways. You'll know when it's uh, on and available when this symbol comes on, this blue icon there. That's the NOA icon. You can turn it off like that by pressing it once, or when the blue flashes on, that means it's available. And to engage navigate on autopilot, it's the same as engaging autopilot, which is double tapping on the right stalk there, and away you go. And the whole concept of navigate on autopilot is, as we went through earlier, it's the car making decisions or allowing the car to make some decisions to lane change uh, to get you to your destination. And it will also theoretically take off ramps and use on ramps for highways as well, although that is a bit hit and miss and results can vary. Um, I would be very careful testing this function. It's still very much beta, so be very careful on the roads out there. And uh, just quickly, also I've noticed that the uh, UI for the navigation has improved as well. The visualizations and the uh, directions are a lot clearer and a lot bigger as well. So that's good to see for this holiday update. Okay, so just on the road now to do some uh, lane change testing. So let's uh, engage autopilot, double tap right stalk. Okay, cut the rainbow road now because we engaged that before. And uh, we will try to demonstrate some uh, lane changing for you. And to do that, you're essentially uh, acting as if you're changing the lanes manually, which is just flicking the indicator left and right. So let's uh, flick the indicator right now. Let's see what happens there. You've got the monitor coming up and then the car wanting to go to that lane. And you can uh, match the speed to the posted speed sign by pressing down on the right stalk there. And see how my max autopilot speed is now the same as the posted speed sign. Okay, let's switch back to the left. Okay. Okay. So I always have my hands kind of on the wheel anyway, just to be safe, to take evasive maneuvers if necessary. And I, I personally think this is the best feature of the Enhanced Autopilot Suite or FSD Package Suite. This automatic lane change, really handy on road trips on the open road. If you've got a truck ahead of you or a slower vehicle, it's easy enough to change lanes like this, for example. Let's go again, right stalk. Go. That's pretty smooth. And the right stalk once again. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What happens if you want to change lanes with the car on the left there? Okay, see the car goes red, right? So not safe, not safe. And then it will change lanes when it's safe enough and there's a bit of a buffer. All right, everyone, that's it from Joy and myself for software update 2022.44.25.3 for our Tesla Model 3 here in Sydney, Australia, including the free trial of the Enhanced Autopilot program for 30 days for those of you who don't have that package already. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, and until the next Tesla video, happy charging.